other day i was driving back uh, home in my car and i saw one muslim man crossing the road in front of me <clears throat> um he was a gaunt emaciated man middle aged um with ragged clothes and wearing a skull cap and i was just thinking about how does he feel about living in india in a in a in a country predominantly hindu country where his his life and liberty is is gradually being squeezed out <clears throat> um does he care does he think so much does he resent it or doesn't he doesn't give a damn I mean, he is after his next meal i i believe the later he's true <clears throat> so but if he does think that way i mean how would he feel right i mean he should feel pretty down right i mean this poor man in a, in a country where where his opportunities are are limited <clears throat> his liberties are limited um security is is a threat so so then i remembered one quote by alma iqbal i believe it's by alma iqbal or or somebody else i don't remember but but i believe it's by alma iqbal that when pakistan was formed i mean both india and pakistan were fucked up by the british right we started rock bottom we had nothing we had no money we had barely a country with no no institution no education people were poor illiterate <clears throat> there was nothing absolutely right and india was was somewhat better off but, but pakistan was even worse I mean, their people were even more illiterate more backward country divided in two parts so so there was no there was hardly any hope so so ilma sorry alma iqbal wanted to put a positive face he wanted to cheer 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 them up the inhabitants of the of the newly formed country he said forget about all these things when people of the world ask you what do you have you said i have faith okay we have god that's all that matters this is the land of the pure and and you build build this build this land for faith and and i think that was the the strength that he wanted to derive from and he gave that strength to his people <clears throat> now i i hate religion okay all religion particularly islam with his propensity to violence and and all the, the bad ideas that it professes <clears throat> but if there is one thing that is good about religion is that this idea that all men are are equal in front of god and that gives the follower the hope and the comfort that they need right and the confidence that and that people are judged not by their birth but the deeds that they do in their life after birth that is the the central part of this monotheistic religion and that gives that is the the only thing that is good about it right this that that you are only judged by your deeds gives you responsibility of your own life and that they are all men are equal in front of god gives you that confidence that you may be down like that man crossing the road in ragged clothes but he is he is same as vladimir putin or bill gates in front of god right and this not only not only uplifts people spiritually in their religious life but it it reflects back in society in my opinion it gives them confidence in life to assert themselves in society to have certain amount of human dignity and and have consciousness about their rights as man in front of god and as a result in society in front of anybody right and and, and this is i mean i could be wrong but i see that getting reflected if you see in history about how these monotheistic religions were more confident when they went outside conquered other people's land or or asserted their 
their power over others because they had certain 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 amount of um, strength that certainty that what i am doing is will of god and i have i'm standing in front of my brothers who are all equal and are going together as a group right so so that's as i said in the in the in the sea of all bad things those are the two good things that that religion kind of promotes in life they contrast that with hinduism in hinduism you were condemned at birth you are a sudra or a vaishya it doesn't matter what you do you are not equal to a brahmin or a kshatriya in the eyes of god himself and no matter what you do in life you can never cross that barrier you can never obliterate that division <clears throat> you will always be condemned in life and 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 beyond just because of your birth on which you have no control this flies on the face of every single good ideas that we ever had or ever built as human being and and this simply is not acceptable <clears throat> it is even worse than than what i hate in islam for example the, the ideas that i hate there this is even more fundamental than liberty or or, or freedom of speech or or equality of men and women i mean this is even worse right i mean this is this goes against equality of men so so and 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 don't don't try to explain it away that okay this is good bad i, I don't care this is not a french thing in Hi hinduism this is the central premise of this religion and god himself not only uh, prescribed this in gita but he promoted that this should be continued for eternity for the good of humanity he he vehemently argued against varna sankara or mixing mixing of castes and it didn't stop there from the airport onwards even if in gandhi said caste system is good thing it's just the untouchability that is bad a creed that promotes such a vile idea i simply cannot stand by it so so that's it man i i am i'm done with hinduism from today i renounce my faith i i never was a practicing hindu i never believed in in god i was always an atheist but even culturally historically in any way um socially i don't want to be associated with that vile idea ever so i give up i am not a hindu anymore thanks for watching